Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome to just a quick build tutorial that I wanted to go over with you guys that kind of goes along with some of the stuff that we've been covering with IC2. Now this is a very, you know, kind of early game power system that's very efficient in the way that it runs and it uses some of the, you know, some of the stuff that we've been covering. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just break a piece of dart here, put down some water, and let's go ahead and hoe up the ground so we've got like a nice little 3x3 three three farm area, okay? And, I mean, you could make it bigger if you wanted to, but, eh, you don't really need it, honestly. Um, unless you want to expand this, this system, of course, this can be expanded upon, um, you know, I'm just going to show you a single setup, but you could keep expanding on it. And then we're going to plant down some oak saplings. You can just plant these down in sapling form. You don't have to get, uh, you know, you don't have to get into crop breeding or anything like that, and you don't have to raise the, the stats on these or anything um, of that nature. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this up and we're going to set ourselves a crop harvester right there um, so that it can harvest the saplings from this area. And of course this is going to need some power to get started and the crop harvester is a MV machine but we can actually pump LV into it which will be fine um, in our case because we're not going to be using a ton of power um, for this. And then we'll go ahead and set up some item conduits. I'm going to be using XNet. You can use, you know, whatever item conduits you have access to. Um, I will say XNet's not my favorite, but it's what we're using on this, uh, you know, within this server. And we'll just bring our cables over. And just connect it into there. And we're going to say that the crop harvester, we're going to make an item line. The crop harvester is going to extract. And we'll say single, 20, that's fine. Uh, we'll do stack. There's really no difference in between using single and using stack. Okay, so we're extracting from the crop harvester right now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set ourselves up a few wood gasificators. Now, you can use electric if you want to, um, but bear in mind that um, actually probably one would be okay for just this small setup. Um, but bear in mind that the standard wood gasificator actually creates more wood gas. That's the reason we're going to be going with this one. And then we'll just run our conduits onto the top of that and we'll bring that over. And then we're going to say that, let me actually get a piece of wood here. And we'll say that this can insert wood. Okay. So only wood is able to go into the wood gasificator um, on this line as of right now. And then we're going to add another connection to the side of this. And we're going to say that this one can also insert. And we're going to say that you can insert charcoal. Okay. And then we'll add one last connection on the bottom of this. And this last connection is going to be an extraction line. So we'll say that you can extract stack. Okay. And so basically what it's going to do is, of course, it's going to take the wood, put it in here, and it's going to create charcoal from it. All right. Then it's also going to create some wood gas in addition. And then right here, the insert line for the charcoal, we're going to go ahead and set the priority of this up. And we'll say 100 insertion priority. That's fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up a, first up, a slag generator. And we're just going to connect that onto the top. And we're going to say that you can insert charcoal, but no increased priority, okay? Because we want this slag generator to be a lower priority than our wood gasificator. And I'll tell you what, let's actually, since we're using XNet, if you don't have XNet, that's fine. You'll just need to build up a bigger buffer for this. But we're going to say that the charcoal um, limit it to five pieces, okay? And then we're going to set up a liquid fuel generator. And we're going to connect that with our blue connector as well. And we're going to make an additional line here, and we're going to say that this is going to be XNet fluid, or if you're using some other kind of conduit, just make a fluid line here. And we're going to say that for the liquid fuel generator, you can insert, and then for the wood gasificator, you can extract. And then we're going to connect some cable to the liquid fuel generators and the slag generators. Now, like I said, you can expand this, uh, you know, if you wanted to actually level up the crops. You could do that. You could have better crops growing faster. This is just an example build. Um, like I said, you could continue to expand it, add more slag generators, add more liquid fuel generators, add bigger crop areas. All of that's okay. Then we're going to set a bat box down right here, and then we're just going to run some power over to 
this. And then let's get ourselves some fertilizer and we can see it running. And I'm going to have to actually kind of boost this with a, just a little bit of power. You could do this with, say, a generator um, or something to that effect if you needed to as well. So there we go. It's getting a little bit of power. And here in a second, it should harvest the first bit of these crops. There we go. And it got some wood. And it's sending it over to the wood gasificator. Now we're going to have to start this up with a little bit of charcoal. So let's throw a piece in there. And it's going to start running through that first piece of oak wood. And I'm going to go ahead and break off that energy cell. So the first piece of charcoal got finished. Sent it back over to the wood gasificator. Because the wood gasificator, of course, can have up to five pieces of charcoal in it. Um, and then after that, anything that gets produced is going to go to the slag generator. And actually, I should probably put some torches around this. But, of course, bear in mind that if you use better leveled crops, you know, we covered how to level up crops and everything, uh, you know, the whole crop mechanics. If you use better crops, it is going to be um, a bit better, you know, production stuff. All right, our slag generator just kicked on. We're producing a little bit of scrap now. And once this thing fills up, that'll be our first batch of wood gas. And there we go. Wood gas just came into the liquid fuel generator, and now it's producing power. And we should see this bat box building up. Yeah, you can see that this is this is building up power at a decent rate. Now, eventually, of course, this is going to back up on power, and then these are going to back up on power, and they're going to quit running unless I'm actually utilizing this power. And I will say that if you level up these these crops, and it's really not that hard to get yourself maybe like some little seven by uh, seven 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 crops or something you know to that effect something with a little bit of decent gain and growth these are only going to be giving me one wood but if you would just get that gain up to like say five um, then you could get a couple pieces of wood per harvest um, get that growth up so they grow up a little bit quicker um, you can actually produce a, a very large excess amount of wood I mean you can say of course I'm using overgrowth fertilizer but we almost have a stack built up in this wood gasificator so if you just level your crops just a little bit, um, that'll go a long way as well. And then, of course, what we can do is we can set ourselves up, say, a drawer or whatever to store the, crap, the, uh, the scrap. And then, of course, you could also, uh, if you wanted to, you could have it crafted in scrap boxes or, you know, do whatever you want with it. And then we can just say, um, actually, we'll want to pull out of the bottom. And then on the slag generator on the downside... We're going to create a line here so that you can extract and then the drawer can insert. And there we go. So the scrap's getting moved over to the drawer and that's pretty much it. And we're producing power. That spat box is probably at its field. Um, and then of course if you wanted to you could upscale it. We could have done, instead of that we could have had say an MFE. Because, of course, none of the machines on this side are actually even using power. Really, the only thing in this system that uses any power is the crop harvester. Now, of course, you don't have to upscale it like I showed you. You can just pump in the LV, and it's enough power to power this thing. It doesn't really use that much power. Um, but then we'll just run, you know, if we do upscale it, we're going to run over some gold cable. Just to upgrade the cabling, because you don't want the cables to burn up. And there we go. So... That's really it. I mean, this is, and of course, like I said, you can expand this. You know, you can make some better crops. And if you make better crops, honestly, even with this setup, you may actually find yourself wanting to upgrade on wood gasificators, and slag generators, and liquid fuel generators, and, uh, you know, kind of keep expanding this. This power system is very potent for LV and works fine for MV power as well. Um, HV, depending on your needs, you may want to upgrade power by then. Uh, but of course, like I said, I mean you can keep scaling this out and increasing, uh, you know, the total the total size of this setup, and it actually produces a good amount of power. So, anyways, that's just a very, you know, easy early game type setup um, to generate yourself a bit of power if you're having any issues with that, and you're going to start producing quite a bit of scrap. And of course, from scrap boxes, you can actually get nether stars as well as you know a lot of really good things from those so there's another you know nice benefit to this and if you wanted to this crop harvester you could also double this as a wood you know automatic wood generation and coal generation um, on top of producing all your power for you so and it's it's totally self-contained like after that pow we're done we don't have to touch this thing anymore it's 
you know, completely self-sufficient at this point. But anyways, I hope you guys found it helpful. Um, as always, if you did, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay up to date with when new videos and stuff come out. Um, as always, if you guys have any questions, do let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to get those answered for you. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So until next time, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys next time.